Hey guys, Sean Keeley from NoonsMagician.com here. And now that the season's over, it's time to start thinking about what's next. And what's next for one of our players, Dion Waiters, is almost certainly the the NBA. Uh, I you know I I hate to to go all real talk on everybody, but he's gonna go pro. Um, you know, you look at every mock draft or or NBA draft insider, and they're all saying he's a first round talent. Um, you, you look at what he accomplished this year. And you look at his talent level and his athleticism, and it's a no-brainer for him to go pro. What's crazy about it is that if Dion does go pro, he will have never started a game for Syracuse, and yet he might just go down as a first-round pick this year, which uh, has to be some kind of uh, first time, I mean, other than European players or uh, African players or something like that. Uh, For a college player to never start a game but then get picked in the first round would be something. Even to get picked in the second round would be something. And, you know, the other thing is, you know, financially, you know, if you're going to play games where the referees are going to take over the game, like the Ohio State one, uh, you might as well get paid millions of dollars to do it. And uh, if he leaves now, that's one more step closer to making money for his family and for himself. That's one more year closer to making that big million-dollar contract uh, after the rookie deal. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's, it just makes too much sense for him to, to go pro at this point if he really is going to be picked at where a lot of people are saying he's going to go. You know, we can sit here and discuss the merits of what one more year at Syracuse would get him or what uh, he would benefit from or how it would count more or mean more if he stayed for another year and tried to win a championship. But, you know, that's more us than him. Uh, You know, our dream is to see Syracuse win a national championship. His dream is to play in the NBA. You know, ever since he played on basketball courts like this one as a little kid, he dreamt about playing in the NBA, not not at Syracuse. So, I mean, for us, it's a shame because I know we'd all love to have him back on the team next year where he'll just be even more amazing, especially as a starter. And, uh, but you know what? That's the way it is now. I, I think we've, we've come a long way from the Dante Green uh, time when he left and we all freaked out. Uh, that's just the game now. You, you kind of have to go into it assuming these guys are gone after two or three years. And, uh, you know, you just have to enjoy the, the time and the team while they're here. So, uh, We'll probably get an announcement in a couple days, I'm sure, and uh, and then we'll we'll wish Dion well because he had a great season and it was a great team. Sean Keeley for NewsMagician.com. Go Orange.